Hey, how's it going? For today, we're gonna be doing some cooking. So one of the things since we came to Scorch Earth that we had a problem with is the spoil timers on the foods. Now it's about half of what it is on all the other maps. The best way to combat that is make your own recipes. A couple different benefits from doing that. One is the increased spoil times. I think it's between two to four hours for each one of the items. We'll double check when we make some. And then you get the added benefit of having a boost to either your stamina regen or your health regen as well. So you got two different kinds. You got drinks and then you got your burgers. For the drinks, of course, you got your water intake, right? But you can also mix in some other foods to increase your stamina regen. As far as the burgers, you got your food, main resource, plus you got some a little bit of health regen. Again, depending on what kind of foods you mix in. Now, this is not a full-blown tutorial on how to do everything or what is the best, things like that. It's just making some foods, enough to get you started, and you can kind of go from there. Junior, guys, look. It's happening. You're going in cryopods. I cannot deal with you guys yelling. Every time there's a storm, happens every like five seconds, we'll keep them in here until, <laughs> until they get it fixed. Need to grab another cryo down here. So I had to go over to the island to get a couple of the things for our cooking session today. So we need to go down on the Argentavis and grab that. So we need the bird. We need a cryo. And put you in here. I know, Junior, I know. It's not your fault, man. It's the storms. It's happened too often right now. Peace and quiet. Oh, dude. I actually remembered our plant species as well. Now we got some good stuff in here from some loot drops. You kind of see the blueprints and some of this. We got some more of the desert armor. We'll talk about all that when we're done with our cooking video for today. And then, oh yeah, the, <laughs> the canteen, dude, that I thought I lost whenever I was trying to fill up my water. I, I didn't lose it. It was actually in here. Totally forgot I was trying to make up the cold water to show you guys about that. Now you can see our normal canteen here. It's just a normal water canteen. But the one in here has the ice cube right above it. That's really good for, like in the last video, how we were out and we ended up getting the heat stroke. If you have that, it'll actually combat that and it's very, very good to have. Also fixed our tile that was kind of sideways down here. Dude, was bugging me so bad, man. We might do some building today. I hear you. Oh, dude, it's a pego. You just want water, I know. You always come for my... That's a level 50. Always come for my canteen. But I'm thinking about connecting that over here. Possibly, maybe. And then doing a wrap around deck all the way around here. We might. I don't know. I kind of like it how it is there. So I haven't painted this up here yet. Not exactly sure what I want to do. Get the bird out before the storm comes. Not sure what kind it is. Now, there is a thing too, right? We cannot make the initial recipe in a normal industrial cooking pot. You have to do it in one of the old school ones. So we'll make one of those up and probably just set it out here by the bird. So what I grabbed from the other map was a bunch of the UD eggs for two reasons. One, we're using that in the recipe. And then two, I need to get a male and a female for making eggs up here. Also got a few extra cryos. We've got the plant species and we've got two kinds of soups. We'll talk about those as well. So whenever you go to make your recipes, the crafting skill is one of the main things that dictates how well the recipe is made, right? So the best thing to do is use a mind wipe, put all your points in the crafting skill, and then eat one of the focal chilies. That also boosts, it says crafting speed, but that also affects the crafting skill. And that'll help out having a very, very good recipe. Now, there was a problem with ASA, or ASE, where whenever you did that, and then you ate another mind wipe, put all your skills back to normal, and you relog, your recipe would change, right? Because you don't have the bonus from all this. And it would still be boosted higher than vanilla, but it wasn't as high as it was. So I'm not sure if that's fixed, or if it's the exact same way as it used to be. We'll do some testing. I'll kind of show you. It'll make more sense whenever you see it. I'm really hoping they fixed it to where... The boosted recipe stays boosted. I mean, that's the whole point of putting all your points into the crafting skill, you know? Now, the problem with putting all your points into the crafting skill is you have to eat another mind wipe. And once more maps open up, or say you go back to the island, you cannot unlock the Scorched Earth ones, even though you've been here, until you come back again. So it kind of sucks, man. It's kind of like a, a double-edged sword with that, you know? Let's make our cooking pot real quick first. We're going to need some stone. I think we've got some in here too, right? We do. Gonna need some fiber. Gonna need some thatch. That's not thatch. <laughs> some thatch. A little bit of flints. And a little bit of wood. Need one of these old school ones. Why you can't make it in the industrial one, I don't know. Now, once we get the recipe made, you can craft all those in there. But this first one, you can't. Super weird. Gonna need probably 20 of these. It's gonna be made for making our notes. And then we'll do 500 of these. 
All right, so that's all done there. Let's put all of our extra weight out of our inventory because, again, all of our points are going into the crafting skill and nothing into weight. I think we're good there with everything, right? All right, so it's been a long time since I've done this, so hopefully we don't mess it up. Put that there. We're going to keep 20 of these out. We don't want charcoal going in here, so we're going to use a thatch. You can also use spark powder, I think. I don't think there's any foods that have spark powder in it. I just usually use thatch, though, man. It's a good thing to use. And then let's drop off the plant species. Now we're going to start off with probably, I guess, the burgers. And the main thing I'm looking for is just to have a, a full food. So all we need, that's for you. All we need for food is 100, because ours is default. So it's not going to be too bad to make a burger that can actually give you 100 on that. We'll take one egg to start. Again, the eggs do matter, right? So you got fertilized eggs, and then you got regular ones, right? Sometimes they drop the normal eggs. Whatever you make the recipe with, that's what you got to have. If you make a recipe with a fertilized UD egg, you cannot use a normal UD egg in the recipe. Doesn't work. So, that's what kind of why I brought a lot of these from the other map. And I want to do my breeding over here to get some more. That way, your UD eggs are used for your kibble, plus for your foods, right? Kind of all in one. Saves on stuff. Let's make a note. Drop this in here. Now, if you notice, the box did not pop up like it does on ASC for you to make a recipe. For some reason, you have to click on this button. <laughs> it makes no sense, man. But, I had to look that up. Let's go ahead and eat one of these. There goes all of our Ingrams. And like I said, all of our points are going into the crafting skill. Now, this is very useful for making your saddles and stuff. I totally forgot about it. We'll go ahead and do this again whenever we go back to do the beta and the alpha on... The Overseer, and we'll make some better saddles for our theories. Because you get a, a kind of like a randomized thing, right? How good it's going to be with your crafting skill. So our blueprints, I think, over there are 51 armor. 51.9, which we'll say 51. If you put the crafting skill stuff in, plus eat your focal chili, you could get some that are like double or, or even higher, you know? Just randomly for the same amount of resources. So it's definitely worth it to use it. So now that we're ready here, all of our points are into the crafting skill. Plus, we ate the focal chili. We can go ahead and turn on the fire. Click on Disable Autocraft. Again, there should be a button up here that says Create Recipe. And here's our interface here. So, we got the ingredients that are nearby. Those are on us. We're not using those. All we're using is the egg to see what that kind of comes out as. Now, you can kind of customize this. Change the color of the burger itself. Doesn't really matter because this is just a test one. Name it. Test. You can put a description. I don't know yet. Make a recipe. And there you go. Now you have this one. So, the stats for this are going to be food will be 313 and health will be 313. Oh, you get stamina too. Interesting. I did not know stamina came off of the foods. I thought that was only for the liquids. I'm not sure if that changed. Possibly did, but as you can see, it does not consume your food over here, which is a very, very nice thing. Now, whenever we go ahead and put up our skills back and stuff, on ASE, I used to change it to where this was not the same. So, before we go anywhere else, let's eat another one of these. We'll leave all the points out. We won't put them back in. Let me relog, and we'll see if the recipe is the exact same. So, 313 on all of the stamina, food, and health. Give me a second. I'll be right back. We're back. We good? Everybody all right? How is the recipe? Okay, see how it changed? It went from 313 down to 81. That's the same thing that used to happen in ASE. Not exactly sure why it does that. It only does it on a relog. So for us to get 100 on our food and stuff right now, right? We're going to need more than just the one egg. Now we could put two eggs in there. Here's the thing though, right? You can't just slam in a whole bunch of food here. Make a recipe and think it's not going to weigh too much because the more food you put in, the more it's going to weigh. I mean, I've accidentally put in too much stuff and had like a 100 pound burger. <laughs> you really got to watch what you put in there, right? So the main thing we're going for, I don't care about the stamina regen or for the health too much, but we might just do two eggs and kind of call it good. Now, if we really wanted to get into this and get it just to where it's barely at 100 because that's what our food is, we could kind of put in, you know, a couple pieces of meats, make a new recipe, test it out, see where we're at. 
But we're going to go ahead and just put in two eggs. So, let's make another one of these. Right, so that's done. Don't forget, we got to put all of our points back in the crafting skill. And we actually lost our focal chili as well, which is fine. I mean, that's all part of the testing and kind of showing you how that works out with the crafting skill, right? That's why I brought so many of them. I didn't want you to make one of the recipes and then put all your points back and wonder why you weren't getting the full amount, kind of like I did before. So, consume that. Let's go ahead and make our second one. I tell you what, instead of doing two eggs, let's do... Want to do the meats? I'll just do two eggs, man. Two eggs is super easy. So technically, that should be 160, right? Once we do our recipe and stuff. So go ahead and make this good. What do you want to call this? Just a UD burger. No description. Let's do our colors here. It will be a permanent one, so we'll make it look kind of good. Let's do a little bit of that. A little bit of lettuce. A little bit of mustard. And then we'll do whatever the blue stuff is. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Wait. Why is the full... Oh, you can change it. Interesting. It used to be just a burger. I don't know what that is, but let's do that instead. It's kind of different. We'll just call it food, man. Make it simple. Alright, so. We have that. We will test it out. We'll keep both of these for right now. And then that's the one we will be using. Now let's do one more. And we're going to do some of the stuff for liquids. Same thing. We'll drop this in here. Again, the food does not get used. Put it back in you for the moment. And this one. We'll leave in here. We'll leave both of them for right now. So, for the liquids... Was that not... I didn't seal it! Oh, uh, dude! I keep doing that, man. I went ahead and cleaned out the crop plots again. And put this in there, plus some of this I kind of got looted. And didn't want it to spoil. Also looted one of those. I totally forgot to close it up. So, what we're going to do... Let's take out... 20 of those. We'll do 20 of these as well. We'll do 20 of these. And then where's the other one? One, two, three. Is there not four? Oh, here we go. And then 20 of these. And the spoil time, again, is super, super fast. So, so I took out 20. We're only going to do about 15 in each one. I'll leave that open for the moment. Put that in here. I'm not sure if this is enough. We'll have to do our testing and see. But since how we did the burger, and we saw what the difference was, 313 went down to about 80. We can kind of gauge how this will be as well once we make it. Without having to redo all of our skills, you know? Alright, so, let's make that. It's going to be a drink. We'll just leave it blank. That makes a ton, dude! That is going to be more than we need. So let's just do maybe 10 on each. I like doing all of them, because that way... I actually probably do 5 on each, huh? That way you always have different crops, and you're not limited to one specific kind for your foods, you know? You can always use a little bit of each. I hear you, buddy. I hear you over there. All right, let's do another notes. And this one we'll go ahead and do the proper colors on. It might be good enough. So a drink. We'll do the cup. Which one's a cup? Cup black. We'll do the inside. It's blue, man. I like blue. We'll do the handle purple. I know, I'm very basic, man. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. It is what it is. So... Water is even more. Oh, no, it's not. That one's... A, okay, I thought that said 11... 1100. That's 11,000. 
So that's 3,900, and then we got some stamina and a tiny bit of health out of that. Let's go ahead and do a mind wipe. Let's relog and see what they are. That might be good enough for all of our stuff. Give me a second again. Be right back. Are right, we good? Are we dying? We all right? We're fine. Always got to look around, man. So, for this one, oh, that is way more. <laughs> that is way more than we need, dude. That is water is still at 1,000. And then stamina is at 21. Health is at 111. You know what? We're going to go ahead and leave it. It's super cheap to make. Now, the weight... I don't know if the weight on there is correct. That might be the weight of the actual item there. Let's go ahead and take you out. We'll make one of each of these. And see how it kind of works out. See what the weight of the item is. And the spoil time and stuff. I right, craft one of you. So that weighs 0 0.7. So almost one pound for one. The spoil time is an hour and 20 minutes. That'll give us health is going to be... Is that bugged still too? We don't have any points into that. See man, it's super weird with stuff. How it keeps changing. That's 162 on the health. And food. And it came out as 626. That's a part that I never understood was how it gets so messed up. Through the crafting. But regardless, that is more than we need for stuff. It's going to be the same in our inventory. Science, man. Science. Let me relog. One second. I'll be right back. We'll see if that changes. Alright. See where we're at in life. It's back down to normal. <laughs> I can't believe that bug carried over. For, I mean, I, I guess I can believe it. I mean, it's wild card. But... Our food is going to be 162. Health is going to go up to 162. And stamina as well. And it matches this. So, that's good. And then our liquid, we just need some of these. We'll craft one of you at the moment. That's going to weigh half a pound. And don't go by the stats on this. It's still kind of bugged until we relog again. That is the correct stats it'll be. It'll be 1,000 on the water. 111 on the health. And then stamina of 21. That's not too bad, man. Doesn't weigh very much. And then the spoil time is again an hour and 20 minutes. So that is how you make custom recipes. And like I said, you could fine tune these. Get that water down a lot more. And kind of fine tune it some. But you got to figure we get some health out of this as well. So you can also, instead of just worrying about your food to boost your health up like an artifact cave. You can also just run around and sprint. Let your uh, stamina drink or drain down your water. And then get some health that way whenever you drink one of these. So, options, man. All options. So, for right now, let's put all these in here. Let's drop the bad ones. Good, good. We'll throw the bad ones over here. Get rid of those. We have our mind wipe still to put our points back, so let's drop that in there and that in there. We will replace the canteen. And have that right there. Let's grab this stuff. Turn you off. We'll go ahead and make up a bunch of those. While we have this open. We can't move. And there are different foods that do different things. All depends on what you have. Let's craft all these. I'll give us 34. But there's different uh, different ways. Like berries, you would think give you a lot of water and stuff. They don't, man. They give you hardly any of the water versus vegetables. Now, berries are easier to come by if you don't have crops. So if you're just starting out, you can go ahead and make some of the berry drinks. And it works, man. It, it still gives you more water and the swallow time is higher. Maybe if you don't have you know enough stuff to get a good canteen, you can go ahead and just make one of those. You, you can make that at pretty much any level, man, in the uh, cooking pot there, you know? And then let's put the rest of these into here. I think we can go ahead and seal this up. All right? There we go. That's good for now. Let me put my points into here. And I think what we'll do is... 450 in health. We'll do our weight back up to... Let's do 400. We need to do fortitude actually first. Gotta have my 100 fortitude. Easy. Not too much. Weights, and then we'll see what else we want to... Well, 
It's gonna be all into weights. <laughs> I gotta go through and unlock all that stuff again. It's fine, man. It's fine. Let's grab some of the eggs. And we'll cook up a couple of the burgers. That'll get our health back up. Now, it's not instant like the medical brew. It does kind of go over time, so that's a thing. Never understood why it gets so buggy, though. We want to keep some of those eggs. Like I said, I want to hatch some and try to get a male and a female. Let's actually keep quite a few of the eggs until I get a male and a female. I know, Junior, I know. What's up, buddy? Go somewhere else. <laughs> I'm so tired of hearing your boas, man. I was excited when we first got here. And now it's like, oh, dude, I do not want to hear them ever again. I need to get an Orbital Raptor, though. There we go. As you can see, our health is slowly going up, but it is it, it is kind of regening. Alright, so, for now, let's put this in here. No reason to carry it around. Clean up our mess. We'll take a look at some of the loot that I got from the drops. Super excited about that. What we're missing is one part of the... Let's pick it up. Might need that for later for making some different ones. What we're missing is one part of the desert armor. So we'll make that today too. And change out from our... Are we full? Interesting. Let's drop that. Don't need the sign. I think silk is the only thing we're missing in here. Oh, I don't have it unlocked. Give me about five hours. Let me go through and unlock all my Ingrams. <sighs> That's why I never use the crafting skill on anything, man. It's it's such a pain to change it all back around and then unlock all your Ingrams. All right. At least we got the cooking done for today. Hopefully you like that. Hopefully it helps you out with getting started on doing some of your own stuff, man. Just got to play with it, dude. Figure out what works for you. For me, it's usually just the couple eggs because I have UDs going all the time for doing our kibble. I only like making the extraordinary kibble. So, you know, having UDs out, kind of an easy way for me to get all that stuff, you know? Alright, I think I'm somewhat done, for the most part. That's why I really like the auto engrams, man. Ah, uh, dude, it's so nice. I have not had to unlock all this stuff in so, so long. So, 20 years later, we are in a heat wave, man. It's definitely a thing. We need some pants. So these things used to, with the desert armor, will give you a buff to where you wouldn't consume as much water. Not sure if that is still a thing. Kind of hope it is. And then this should keep all of our... ...colors on our skins. That's the way that it's supposed to work, right? Hello? Got kind of bugged out. We'll take a look at the armor itself, though. See if it's changed since ASE. Kind of hope it has, man. All the new armors, or all the armors look pretty good. How they remade them. Not sure if they changed it or not on this one. It looks the same for the most parts. It's cool armor though, man. I like it. Let's put our helmet on. Nice, dude. Nice. So the cool part is if a sandstorm comes by, it actually helps your vision, right? The goggles will come down. I thought they used to be up on your head until a sandstorm came by. Did they change that? Am I remembering it wrong? But it used to make it where you could actually see. Now in ASA, the sandstorms you can actually see through pretty well. So, might not need them. Let's go ahead and... Oh, yeah, let's do this, too. Keep forgetting. Keep talking about wanting to do it. Salts. Extend the timers on our food. Now we're up to over three hours. Put that in there. Let's put our normal skins back on, please and thank you. It did. Kept all the colors. I like it, dude. I like it. So you guys left me comments, too, about the walls. One thing I was doing wrong... Well, not wrong, but just doing different... There we go. We look normal. Wait, do we got the buff? We don't. It took away the buff from the desert armor. So the whole point of it was to, well, one, be able to see through the sandstorms, but it slowed down your water consumption. And the armor itself used to have a buff listed on there. It was called weapon damage, but it was for your water consumption. That's gone. Oh, that kind of sucks, man. Is what it is, though. It's fine. It's fine. So, with the building parts, where's it at? The skin. You guys told me 
that you can change normal walls into actual glass walls. Let's try it right here. It can't be a window wall. It has to be a, a regular flat one. So we'll put that down. We'll get this out. Oh, you can! Oh, dude. So it's a window. <laughs> but it's a wall. I'm just saying, it's a window wall. We might do that instead of these right here. And then for in here, let's pick this up. And we'll pick this up. We're going to change them. I totally forgot whenever we were doing these. Chandelier. We can't put you in the middle. That kind of sucks. Wait, turn off clipping. Ah, oh, we can. So let's do... One there. That's kind of close. Let's move it some. One there. Barely. Wait. Wrong button? Do I really need to be up there to pick it up? I'm gonna grab some scaffolding. I'll tell you what. We need a ramp, a roof, a ceiling. None of which I have. It's fine. We'll make one. I need some Adobe. Wish we could make stuff right here directly in the inventory. I'm just saying, man. It's a little stuff that would make life so much easier. I do have it unlocked. Let's make two of these, three of these, four of these. Because I want to do a little bit of testing outside. Do I not have the Adobe one? I do right here. Let's make four of those. We might do this on the side. We'll see how it looks. Might kind of connect the front and the side over there. Make a half wraparound deck out there. Might be kind of cool. Don't need to go in there. Four more of these. Guys, please! I put the other ones in the cryopods, pods. So I don't have to hear you. Might do the chandeliers in here as well. I like how it's got the light over there by these steps. Let's we'll see how they look in there when we actually turn them on. Don't be weird. There we go. That's so weird, man. <laughs> I could get the prompt, but... Wouldn't let me pick it up. Is that in the middle? It is. I have to wait till nighttime and see how bright it is. That might work up there. If it does the light all the way from top to bottom, evenly, then we'll do that. And for all these, we'll change out to normal windows. Now, I know it goes right outside to nothing. That'd be kind of cool. It's like, dude, where's the... <laughs> I was looking for the glass. Alright, this. And that. Dude, that is awesome, man. I like it, dude. I like it. Makes me want to open that up outside so we can actually see out. Now, whenever we get the bunk beds, we'll probably put them right here in front of the... The middle one, then on the left side we'll do a couple of our tames, and then the right side as well. It's kind of getting by the stairs, though. It's not too bad. We could do some down here as well. We got that. I could change out these front ones. And make these two glass. Not the doorway. Uh, I picked up the whole doorway! Is a storm coming too? Okay. Not as bad as I thought. And then we need to do the double door. Let's change these around before we get too far. Glass. Glass. There we go. That looks better. That looks a lot better. I want to do a bay window out here. I'm just saying. We could do the whole front deck out here. The opening. It's a bay window. We could! That might be kind of cool. I couldn't fix this either. I tried, man. I tried. These only go that direction. I even put down some, some foundations here. Try to have something to snap to. It wouldn't work, man. Would that look better if we came out this way with some triangles? Let me make some parks. We gotta do it, dude. We gotta do it, man. This looks too fantastic to not make into... Well, ooh. It's not gonna work. Because it's an even number and an odd number, right? I don't know if we can actually snap... 
The triangle's right here. I don't think so. Let's put the wall back. Cool thoughts, but nothing I want to try to do <laughs> on camera, dude. It'll take me forever. Let's make you open out. And then we'll change you over... Wait, is there a glass door? Oh, there's not. Just walls, windows, and then slow. Okay. There we go. And this one needs to be... That one. That looks better, man. Could do a second one up there. No, it's offset, so we can't. You could do those two, though. That's fantastic. Oh, dude, I will settle with that for sure. Oh, that light coming in, man. I like it, dude. I like it. That is not too bad. All right, so where are we at in life, man? We've got two of these. Let's set up the chandelier. Might as well get them off the ground. We've got two here. Let's try to do this evenly. We'll do one here. One over here. Pick up you. Nope. There we go. Close that. It's a storm outside. And I'm guessing... It's not exactly in the center like I thought it was. I mean, it's close enough. Maybe like right here? I'll have to fix that. I was clipping on the wrong parts. And then right here as well. We'll wait for nighttime. Check these out, see how they are. I'll, I'll fix them off camera. Well, I'll fix them here in a minute. Let me get these kind of turned on. We'll change it to nighttime, see if we like it, and then I'll worry about getting these kind of centered a little bit. It still looks kind of dark down here. Let's let's try this. The shadows on the ground are really going to mess with my head, I think. I don't like the shadows. I really, really don't like the shadows. It's kind of dim light compared to how it was too, right? Hmm. I don't like it. Let, <laughs> let me fix it. Give me seconds. I see you staring all the way in there at me. Come on, you man. I don't trust him. Maybe if I got him a friend, he might be not so mad. Is it a he or a she? It's a she. You always got an attitude. Just saying, man. I don't like being watched. <laughs> Let me fix this. I don't like the shadows on the ground. Otherwise, the lighting's not too bad. It's kind of super weird. Let me get my scaffolding back out. Alright. I think we might... I kind of want to change this one to a window. At the same time, I like it being like that because of the treasure chest. So let's just go ahead and put this back up here. That'll work for now. Put the other one right there. And then down here... Went and just put them on the doorway there. And this... I want to change to a window. I picked up and totally... Got rid of the other one. There we go, man. There we go. It looks a little bit better in here, I think. Last thing I want to do for today before we go is I want to put the vault over here. Uh, it's going to be a pain, dude. Oh, yeah. I forgot to show you the other stuff that I got, man. So we need to make a bookcase. I've got some good blueprints and then a very good chest piece. Got a good saddle for a parasaur. So that's not too bad. A lot of it's junk, too, that I'm getting from the drops. I mean, that's just a good stuff that I saved. And for this, it should be the same footprint size, right? We got room to move this over. I got so much stuff in there, man. Let's put it into here for the moment. Not the vaults. We want the vaults. Should be able to move this down, though. And then pick up the storage cabinets. Get those out of the way. Put the vault there. I'm not sure about this, though. There's not really anywhere else to put the smithy. We could have it out here in the open, right? 
Have it to where the chemistry bench is here. And the smithy is out on the side. We might do that. Change it up a little bit. It's a ton of sand, dude. Alright, so that's all in there. Pick up you. And you. Should we put down that first? Probably, right? Should drop one bag. There we go. The vault's gonna be right in front of the door. Oh, that sucks. I'm not the door, but the uh, window. That should be fine, though. Long as the chemistry bench goes kind of next to it without any problem, which it will. Nice, dude. Nice. All right, so all this stuff back into here. And then we'll take one of the cabinets, turn it into a blueprint one. Maybe put it over there. I'm not too sure where to put the blueprints. But it'll be nice having all this stuff in one and not having to... Keep changing it around. 300 for these slots. We were dealing with 90. Is it 90 for each one of the bookcases? Or 45? Something we could do. Let's try this. With the bookcase. If we put it right here. Easy. Easy. Stop clipping. And then put down the chemistry bench. I mean, that works. Access to this. And then I can still get to the vault. And the chemistry. And then put this in the middle of the floor. Right there. Kind of like it. Maybe move it out a little bit further away from the chemistry bench. And it's still inside the door, right? Door's here. It's not overlapping. There we go. That kind of works. Throw all this stuff back in here real quick. Everything except for all that sand. Ah, uh, dude, this sand. Holy crap, dude. It's a bunch of it. <laughs> I have it all. I kind of need to get rid of most of it. Because we're kind of done for the most part with... Ooh, that's going to be a problem there. With making all of our adobe and stuff, right? Unless we expand the base. Now, I still haven't totally decided if we want to do the wall outside. It's either going to be doing a wall outside around the base, which I really don't want to do. Or we're going to go ahead and put some of the plant species up. Either way, that should kind of keep everything away from our doorway for the most part. Let's grab some regular food. I don't want to eat all of our normal stuff while we're here at base. I still want to eat some of our jerky. It's mainly for whenever we leave base to go do things. Let's sort out the blueprints, and then I think we're kind of done for the day. So we got two of these. We don't need both. Probably drop the Mastercraft. A lot higher on the resource requirements. And we got a couple in here, too. Keep all of those, though. That'll go in there. That's not too bad, man. That's kind of nice and homey there. I like it. We almost need one more light over here. And someone left me a comment, too, about this, where it sticks out. Putting one of the roof pieces there. And then the triangle wall that might be too much in front of the doorway. We got the parts. We can try it real quick. See if we like it. If not, not a big deal. So one of you... And then one of these. Oh, we were going to do the things outside, too. I don't know, man. I was looking at it. Want to go upside down? Right side up. I don't know if I like that in front of my doorway. To block that off. I like it better sticking out. It'll be fine sticking out. I don't know about uh, expanding this because we got this in the way. And then that's not going to line up. I was looking at it, right? It's going to line up with it down below. And I don't want to put the roof up higher out here because it'll stick out into that. So we'll probably just leave it like it is. I mean, it's fine, dude. It's fine. Not too bad. Main thing we wanted to do today, we got done. And that was making our custom recipes. We did a little bit of renovating here at base. I like this, man. It's a lot better changed around. A little bit more functional. We got our vault outs. Got our foods. 
Everything's good. I need to head some UDs. Might do that off camera. Not too sure. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.